Hey, air sign. How are you? How are you? Welcome in to um, November 29th. What is going on for you? Um, the private readings are open again. The calendar's open. I'm also doing recorded readings. We're going to get going on doing those um, ASAP. So that might be an option, I, uh, especially for a lot of people overseas, uh, wait, uh, outside of the U.S. Okay, I saw these two, so I've got to air sign, uh, five of pentacles, temperance, got to call it when I see it. Okay. So let's see what's going on for you. That's sad energy, somebody out in the cold. So, uh, to finish my thought, there's a link below if you want the private reading. Okay. <laughs> this one's jumping out at me. Uh, eight of wands. Someone might reach out to talk, communication, travel, you're traveling could be getting away from a situation, confused about a situation, so you're getting away from it. Uh, there you are, Libra. I see Libra here, and Aquarian, Energy, and Leo. Okay, so something about Ten of Pentacles here, Three of Wands. Wow, Tower, ends in Tower. Hold, please. All right, overarching energy of the reading. This one jumping out, lovers, Gemini, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, you're all here, yay, okay, um, and before I read this, I want to find out what the tower is here, what is the tower, this is about expectations, somebody had expectations here, fool, um, somebody had expectations of somebody leaving a situation to come to them, Okay, their situation has to blow up before that's true. Okay, but I did get this. So it could be a Sag you're dealing with who's out in the cold, feels out in the cold, um, is uh, having some money issues, some health issues, something like that. And um, there's walking away here. There's turning the back and walking away. There's a lot of turned backs here. That's interesting. All right, so see Eight of Cups, see the turning of the back? That's usually you. When Five of Cups, when I see Five of Cups, that's somebody who's left you, and you're like, ah. But when I see uh, Eight of Cups, that's you leaving a situation to go towards something more spiritual. Most definitely, you're going towards something more spiritual, air sign here, something that makes you happy, something that's joyful. This had to come, this came to a head. Okay, there might have been a, there might have been just a text. <coughs> okay, there might have just been a text. This person's confused um, about you walking away from them. Not sure why that happened. Um, but I think you're seeing, they're feeling out in the cold. This is you, obviously. Libra, Aquarian energy, really making decisions and choices. I'm moving toward happiness. If I'm not happy in this situation, I'm out. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands. This is what, something like what your parents told you happiness was or your image of what marriage looked like or something about um, your expectations of marriage. Okay. Um, and it, are running headlong into... Uh, what it means to be happy. So you could view marriage or some, one of you views is, views marriage as like a lot of responsibility, right? There's a lot of responsibility. There's a lot. It's what your parents told you it was. And it's not happiness. It's responsibility, right? There's, so, there's something here about the difference. There's a difference here. And so somebody walks or has walked. Okay, somebody's walked here, and um, there's going to be, uh, the tower energy is really just like, I, you know, there wasn't a lot of talking before, and now there's talking. Eight of Wands. Now there's talking. Now that there has been a break, now that there's been this, if this has not happened yet, it's going to happen. This is Im imminent. Imminent. Uh, meaning any, any second now. <laughs> Because of the expectations you had around what marriage was like or what you want in marriage, 
might not match up with what the other person had in mind. There's something here about not matching up. And so somebody just walks because of expectations. The next thing that can happen is a conversation. Because I feel like the universe is working to bring you back together for that. Sag energy here. We're in Sag, J Jupiter, lucky, right? Lucky, lucky break, lucky, whatever. It's like luck is bringing you back together. Luck or serendipity or coincidence. You don't believe in any of that, right? You believe in the, you believe in the fact that everything happens for a reason or that we are really impacting each other in per particular ways for lessons. What is this? I think the expectations around marriage is right on here or around what it's supposed to be like. Yes. Uh, high priestess, you know. So there's no talkie. That was the problem. There was an expectation that wasn't voiced, that wasn't shared. And it caused a blow up. It caused everything to go kerflooey. And now you're sort of like, either you're the one that had expectations and you walk, or you're the one who's like, I just want to be happy. And that's not what this was. So things blew up. Now it's about communication. Now there's going to be talking. Now there's going to be these things. Things need to be balanced. Things need to be thought through and spoke, talked through. It can't just be like, you know, your expectations and my expectations. You know, there's no problem if they match. But blow up ca is caused by the expectations not matching. There could have been a secret. Okay, there could have been a secret here that got exposed and it was all because expectations of this situation didn't match. And so now there's going to need to be talking. Expectations gets us in trouble every single time. Expectations that aren't voiced. Gotcha. All right. We're going to do an extended read here. Um, actions to take blocks to love. Let's talk to this person that you're interacting with and see where they are, all right, and see how this unfolds, okay? Uh, link is below for that and also for the private reads. I will see you on the other side.